What's going on guys, it's time for a vinyl review of Daft Punk's Discovery. So, to begin with the art, this is a gatefold record. Uh, you got a nice inside of uh, whatever this is. I think it's like a city with a bunch of lights or something. It looks pretty cool inside. Uh, but it's a gatefold, so that's something to keep in mind. Inside, this is what the first side looks like. It's just pretty much looks like the cover. Uh, there's nothing on the back. The vinyl is just standard black. Uh, but it has the cool Daft Punk uh, logo on uh, the middle of the record, which is cool. I much prefer side C and D's art. as You got the actual group right here, which looks sick. And then on the back of that, you got all the lyrics and whatnot, which is also really cool. This doesn't come with any posters or anything, but I think you get a pretty good set of stuff with this record. So with all that artwork and stuff being said, let's get into the actual music. Starting with side A, you have One More Time, Aerodynamic, and Digital Love. This is definitely one of the strongest sides of the album. I love every single one of these songs. One More Time has this amazing horn sample. Uh, I'm sure you all have heard One More Time before, so I won't go into too much detail, but I love how repetitive this song can be while still being interesting. It's just so fun. Uh, you never want it to end. It's such a sweet song. And then Aerodynamic, also a great track with amazing guitar sampling. I don't know if they sampled the guitar or actually played it, but... I know they chopped something up and the build up to it is absolutely incredible. Definitely an amazing track. And then Digital Love is one of the songs that got me into Daft Punk. Um, this is the first Daft Punk song that really tells a story. This is kind of the direction they went with Ram where the robots are having human emotions. Like I said about one more time, this is also just a really sweet song. Uh, I, lo I just love the lyrics in the beginning and... Once again, the build-up in all these songs is incredible, but this is another one where I really like the build-up. So, moving on to side B. Side B has Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, Crescendals, Night Vision, and Superheroes. For me personally, this is probably the weakest spot on the album, but that does not mean it's bad. Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger is definitely my favorite from this. I love going back, listening to Stronger by Kanye, and then coming back, listening to this, hearing how he chopped it up. Uh, I still don't know which song I prefer. Uh, it's really close, but they're both amazing songs. Send Alls is probably my least favorite on the album. It just gets a bit too repetitive for me. Uh, Night Vision is just uh, an interlude into Superheroes, which I think Superheroes is a really good song. And um, if superhero ever comes out this theme can definitely fit one of them next is side c which contains some of my favorite daft punk songs of all time uh going back to side a i actually think side c is my favorite after seeing what's on it um you have High Life, Something About Us, Voyager, and Verity Quo. High Life is like the quintessential drive through the city with the city lights in the background track, I absolutely love it. The sample is incredible on that. Something About Us is unbelievably smooth. Love the guitar lick on it. Voyager just has one of the best bass lines in any song ever, I think. Verity Quo is kind of a weird one. I like it a lot. Um, it's very synth wavy and it's different from the rest of the project in the sense that it's darker. And um, I don't know, it sounds like it can be like final boss video game music or something. And then side D, you have Short Circuit, Face to Face, and Too Long. Short Circuit is just crazy. That's all I'll say about it. It's a very crazy track. Um, face to Face has uh, vocals on it from, um, I forget his name. He's on uh, Random Access Memories as well on Fragments of Time. His name's going to come back to me, but I forget what it is right now. Uh, if you're a Daft Punk fan... You know his name, but I forget. But it's a really good song. His vocals are incredible on that track. I personally would have been okay with the album ending there, but Too Long is also really good. It's just... The name... It kind of is a little bit too long for me. 
but it's fine. Um, at least it doesn't go on for too long being a bad song. Um, definitely really good. Um, I made a video a while ago comparing this to Random Access Memories, and I do now personally think this is better. I said that in the videos, questioning if I believe that or not, but I definitely think Discovery is the better album now. All that being said, is this album worth buying? Um, I got this at a price of, I think, 20 or $25. Um, which honestly, for a classic album like this, I think it's a really good deal. Um, so is it worth buying? I would say absolutely. Uh, if you're a Daft Punk fan, this is definitely a must-buy. If you're just a casual listener, I would say you should also buy this. I mean, if you're a fan of some of Daft Punk's music, this is definitely worth buying for the 20 to $25 price. So, that's that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um... I have a ton of vinyl records, so I plan on doing like a vinyl review for all of them. So if you like this kind of content, definitely hit the sub and like button. Let me know in the comments if you want more. Uh, I'm going to keep making them and seeing what happens. So yeah, but I think that's pretty much it. Also, now that we're end of the, at the end of the video, let me know what you think of uh, the new intro. Uh, it only took a couple minutes to make, but... I was really happy with it, and you're probably going to see it in all my videos now. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.